Welcome back to Tennessee Frugal Craftsman. It's a, uh, let's see, December 13th. It's a Tuesday morning. Uh, I'm going to try something different here. I'm experimenting with removing stumps. Now, I know there are a lot of videos out there on stump removal, but this one's a beast, uh, at least for me. Uh, so I'm going to try cutting, doing a little bit of cutting on it, and see if we can't bury it. It's right, going to be right where the driveway is, so eventually it'll be uh, sealed over. Uh, but I will bring you along for this process, and I'll kind of tell you whether it's worth it. So this is our stump. It is about uh, 18 inches at the top point, but down here obviously it gets bigger. It's, you know, 30 30 plus inches across so I've done a little bit of cutting here I've dug out around it uh, that's the driveway um, so I'm just gonna see uh, how much uh, I can do with the saw here if it's just gonna dull my saw up too much then I may end up have to wait for the excavator to take it out later so uh, but let's let's try
Okay, so as you can see, I've got about a third of it gone. So I'm going to keep hacking away at it here. I've got to change up my battery. Let's keep cutting. off the stump. Alright, that was about a 20 minute job, roughly. I had a fairly sharp blade, it needs a little bit of sharpening there now, but not too bad. But as you can see, get this scraped off. That was a fairly big stump once you get down into the roots. can see where the roots come all the way out around and I cut those off in pieces. Now I think I may just try to bury that from this point. Um, <clears throat> ideally I guess I could build a fire there and maybe burn a little bit more of it. Problem is you know how much is it going to burn uh, with that slick surface it take quite a quite a long fire so I'm gonna just try raking this in and I'll come back and show you the finished product all right let's uh, do a final assessment on stump removal 101 I put down some crushed rock here that I had because most of the stuff here was just leaves and clay and so that's where the stump was I put down about three wheelbarrows full of three-quarter crush some stuff I had left over when I was doing the doing the uh, baby barn I have three inch crush you can see are the bigger stuff I put down a layer three inch crush uh, earlier in the year to give me a bit, little bit more of a solid base and it's turned out really nicely but as you can see this is going to work very well um, just to do a cost analysis um, I had one stump ground in my 
front yard of my house, my other home, uh, and it cost me $100 to have it ground. Now, at the time, I'm thinking, you know, that's that's worth it. It's uh, I don't have to worry about it. But looking at it now, you know, kind of working with removing stumps. So I've removed that one. I removed a small one over here. If I recall, it's hard to remember now because I've removed them. Um, and I think I buried one over here as well. Uh, but this is actually probably the direction I'm going to move forward to take out that one and those three there because these are in the driveway. Um, and that way I won't have, you know, huge holes in my driveway late or in my uh, where I would have to fill in. Now I, obviously with an excavator and a bulldozer or whatever, they can do a lot. But uh, this being the Tennessee Frugal Craftsman, I mean, uh, trying to save as much money as possible. And this works just as well if we can bury them, um, cut them down below ground level and bury them. Um, just to give you kind of an elevation here, you can see it's not sticking up in any way because uh, I dug it down about three inches below ground level and that's why uh, there is a little bit of a, of a knoll here anyway, natural kind of hump here in the ground and eventually this will be, I'll have more gravel brought in here because uh, I'm also taking out these two, these two, maybe that third one, I'm not sure, I'll probably have to come down in order to get the trees down. but. Uh, so the driveway is going to be coming up through here anyway. So uh, maybe later today, depending if I get done milling in time, I've got three more logs. Be looking for that on another video if it, if it hasn't already been posted by the time this one comes out. Uh, I may come back and tr attempt to take this one out. Now, it takes about mm, half hour to dig it out, 45 minutes to dig it out. Um, I just take my pickaxe and just follow the 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 uh, uh, stump down to the root level and once you get down there like I said about six inches below ground level and then you know by the time you step up and when you're cutting with the with the chainsaw so you're not right in the dirt um, it, it seems to work out very well though this one obviously is a lot bigger that one was an 18 inch stump on the top this one looks to be about a, a 20 or so on the on the butt so Obviously, its root structure is going to be a lot, uh, a lot more uh, difficult to work with. But that one, when I got my chain sharpened and, and working on this one over here this morning, you saw 20 minutes of cutting. I had it out and I chopped it up uh, in smaller pieces, and so I can get rid of them. So that's kind of where I'm at. Um, I'll probably attempt to do a few more, especially the smaller ones. Uh, that was the third or fourth one I've buried here on the property, cut down below ground level and buried. Um, I think I showed you an earlier one where I did it here beside the, the outbuilding, um, which was right, it was actually right underneath of this, this uh, little table I built. And I cut it down below the ground level and just uh, sloped all of my all of my uh, soil here and it's you know it's buried now some may be you know kind of wondering what's going to happen when the roots start rotting and whatnot that would be so minimal with because we've got the bulk of the stump out the heavy stuff uh, the amount that, that would settle uh, would be negligible uh, most of that would just you know rot away and turn back into soil and you know what a little bit of crushed rock raked in fill it back in over time so but I'll keep you posted on that I mean that's obviously a little ways down the road but um, I think that that's going to be uh, the process I use moving forward uh, the only thing that um, that you have to keep in mind it is you have to make sure that you keep the mud off the mud off the stump and don't drive your saw obviously right into the dirt my, after doing that, I'm going to have to resharpen because I, there is one spot I caught a little bit of the dirt. But uh, for the most part, the, the saw, that one sharpening did it. Um, and so for your time in sharpening, 15, 20 minutes to sharpen your saw, maybe half hour. And the half hour to cut it out, you know, it's worth it. If your time's valuable and 100 bucks to take, a stump, take one stump out, 
Um, like I said, you do the math. You can sharpen quite a few blades. And so, anyway, I'll bring you along for a little bit of milling a little bit later today. Until then, you have a great day. And as always, please like and subscribe. Uh, and apparently, you can hit the bell there for notifications. So, until the next time, you have a great day.